Hello brothers and sisters in Christ. I am doing a, you could call it a correction or a, using a more stronger uh, verse to prove something. I was corrected saying that, let's look at this, because I had it all kind of written out. Um, Romans 8.11 at around 8 minutes and 55 seconds on my wise believing the Godhead a salvation issue. I tried to use Romans 8 to prove that the Holy Spirit raised Jesus from the dead. But when I read it and someone tried correcting me on it, I read it and was like, oh, it doesn't really prove that the Holy Spirit raised Jesus from the dead. Because let's read it real quick. Romans 8.11. I'm not above correction. Romans 8.11. But if the Spirit of Him, the Spirit of Him, it's not saying the Spirit raised Him, the Spirit of Him that raised up Jesus from the dead, the Him that raised up Jesus from the dead. The whole point of that teaching was is when it says Him that raised up Jesus from the dead, it's talking about all three. God the Father, I already showed verses in that study, that He raised Jesus from the dead. Jesus claimed to raise Himself from the dead. And I didn't do a strong enough verse proving that the Holy Spirit raised Him from the dead. Okay, This is talking about Him that raised up Jesus from the dead. And I, I used the wrong verse. I apologize, brothers and sisters in Christ. The enemies out there can use that verse to attack me. I made a mistake, and I'm correcting that right now. I could take down the video and try to be perfect and hide my mistakes, but I'm just throwing it out there. The verse I should have used is 1 Peter 4, verse 18. No, 3. 1 Peter 3, verse 18. For Christ also hath once suffered for sins, the just for the unjust, that he might bring us to God, being put to death in the flesh, but quickened by the Spirit, capital S, Spirit, which is a reference to the Holy Ghost. Some people complain about it. It's a Bible word, Holy Ghost, and Holy Spirit, okay? Spirit of God. We all, and when I read that verse, talk about the Spirit of Jesus and the Spirit of God. There's not two spirits. There's only one Spirit, the Holy Spirit, okay? So I should have used that verse. It doesn't change what I taught. I didn't make the mistake that ruined the whole teaching. It's just I didn't use a strong enough verse, okay? And this verse really doesn't just flat out spell it out that the Holy Spirit raised Jesus from the dead. 1 Peter 3.18 does, and you can't refute it, all right? So I wanted to correct that. Remember, stick with the Godhead. Drop the Trinity. If you're using Trinity terms, stop using them. Stick to the Godhead. There's a lot of people who believe the Godhead they are using Trinity terms. But honestly, there's a lot of people that believe the Trinity and try to claim that, and doesn't believe the Godhead of the Bible, and they try to claim they're the same. The whole point of this video was to encourage those to stand by the Godhead, who stand by the Godhead, to keep standing. Do not faint. Do not falter. Don't fall away. And those that believe the Godhead and using Trinity terms that kind of open your eyes and wake you up to saying, okay, I need to use God's Word, and I need to stick to the Godhead of the Bible. Capital G Godhead is a title for God. Capital T Trinity is a title for Satan. It's that simple. Okay. So, I was wrong. Made my correction. Grace and peace from God our Father and our Lord Jesus Christ be with you. And my love for you, which is in Christ Jesus. See you in the next video.